welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys my deep cleaning series. This is part two and today we are headed into the kitchen. As you can see my kitchen was a hot mess and definitely needed to be clean. So if you guys need some motivation to get some cleaning done, definitely put me on your laptop, your phone, your TV, whatever device you watch your cleaning motivation on and let's get this clean and done. <music> So you guys will see me share my usual cleaning motivation, which is emptying out the dishwasher, emptying out the sink, putting the dishes in the sink and the dishwasher, wiping down the surfaces, but I'm definitely going to take it a bit further. The only thing I will not be doing today in this video is cleaning and organizing my drawers because if you guys aren't new to my channel, then you would have seen me recently posted a video where I organize and declutter the kitchen. And this was shortly after that, so I didn't need to do that. So I hope you guys are ready for this motivation. <music> got so much motivation for you usually when I'm cleaning my kitchen it doesn't take too long but because I was deep cleaning I'm going to be wiping down the windows going through my pantry my fridge because the next day I was going to do grocery shopping as well so I had so much that needed to get done so I wanted to share this all with you guys to help encourage and motivate you to get this cleaning done with me <music> Before I get much further into this video, I do want to introduce myself because I know I have some new friends on here. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Peter Gay. I am the cleaning mommy on my channel. I do cleaning, decorating, I do organizing and decluttering. I have been doing a little cooking lately and I'm definitely going to be doing more. If you enjoy content like this, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Don't forget to leave me a comment because I love talking to you guys. Don't forget to like, share. Remember, it's absolutely free to share. So make sure you do that as well as hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you guys will be notified. I'm using the bun on me. I think that's how it's pronounced to clean out my kitchen sink. I love this product. I've used it to clean my uh, oven by itself and it did such a good job. I actually have that video coming soon. So make sure you guys look out for that as well. But usually when I do my dishes, I try to put as much dishes in the dishwasher as possible because I hate to hand wash dishes. Two things I hate doing when it comes to doing chores and that is doing the dishes and laundry. Those are two things I absolutely cannot stand to do but have no choice to get it done because who else is going to get it done? So I would love to know what you guys do not like doing as far as it pertaining to doing chores. So I bought this garbage disposal cleaner from Walmart. It does a pretty good job because y'all know if y'all don't clean your garbage disposal, it will eventually start smelling and that smell can be really funky. <laughs> I didn't know 
know Mr. Clean had multi-purpose cleaners, but I went to Walmart and saw this, or I believe it was Walmart. I think it was Walmart. I don't remember, but it doesn't come with a spray nozzle. So because my Mrs. Myers was finished, I just decided to throw it in that bottle and just use it that way. So y'all, after I did all this deep cleaning, I completely forgot to get down all my Easter decor so when you guys see me clean you will see me put everything back but in this video you will not see me taking everything down but after I finished cleaning I was like why did I put everything back up Easter is coming on it's time to take these down so I will be taking them down but in this video you will see me put everything back <music> These windows definitely needed to be wiped down. I usually clean the windows like every season so they haven't been clean in a while so guys they were so dirty. You guys can't see it up close because you guys are so far away but it was so dirty. But guys I'm having a mom moment right here so I do want to let you guys know I'm doing a voiceover right now but if you guys hear any kind of snoring in the background I got my baby girl and she's asleep and I'm not moving. <laughs> I am not moving because I know the minute I move, she's going to wake up and I really need to get this voiceover done because I have so much videos to edit and I'm so far behind. So y'all just bear with me. I'm having a mom moment and we're going to get through this together. So y'all, one area that I definitely sometimes forget to clean whenever I'm cleaning my kitchen is the pipe itself, like underneath it that you guys just saw me wiping. So if that is something that you guys don't clean often, whenever you finish washing your dishes and you clean your sink, if you have a pipeline mines or just a pipe in general, just make sure you spray something or you add some soap to it and just wipe it down because I can promise you there is some grime underneath there that needs to go. <music> pantry and be like you have so much stuff in there but for some reason every week or however times per week or month you buy groceries you're always buying stuff but you still have stuff in there you still haven't used it so that is one of my goals stop buying stuff and just use up everything in there so you guys saw me I was taking a picture for Instagram but y'all I definitely need to work on I think I was taking a picture or was it a real? It was probably a boomerang. <laughs> yes, but I definitely need to work on stop buying stuff because as you can see, I have so much stuff in my pantry that I've had for months that they don't expire anytime soon. But I need to stop buying stuff because I can use these, but every time it's grocery time, I'm always buying stuff. So that is definitely one thing I want to work on. I don't know if you guys feel the same way or when you look in your pantry, you'll be like, oh, I still need to buy stuff because I feel like I don't have enough sides because a lot of the stuff in here are sides or stuff for breakfast. Y'all, I keep buying cereal and I rarely ever eat it. I love to eat cereal, but I'm not a breakfast person. So it's very hard for me to eat cereal when I'm not a breakfast person. And I'm not going to eat cereal any other time throughout the day because I know I won't want it. So while I'm going through my pantry, I am looking at what I need to get for grocery, which is so crazy that I'm telling you guys this about not buying stuff while I'm actually writing a grocery list to buy stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's very funny. But I want to take everything down and just wipe out the pantry. I try to do this every couple months because I know it gets dusty. Plus, it gives me a chance to look at all items that I have in my pantry and see what is expired, what is about to be expired soon, so that I can use it before it's no longer usable. Mm -hmm. 
of deep cleaning do you guys ever just look at your house when you're cleaning and just feel like you just want to take everything and put it outside and just completely clean the whole house that's how I felt this week as I was going through everything and trying to clean because everything was just so dusty and y'all you see that I'm posting videos often which means I'm cleaning my house so unless I'm doing a bad job at it I don't know this place just get really dusty real easily not to mention y'all these spiders now that the sun is back out and we are no longer in a cold, the spiders are coming back out. And this house, when we moved in, we realized we were going to be sharing our home with spiders. Yeah. In Texas, you'll find a lot of spiders. And I hate spiders. They scare me to death. But in this house, every time I look, I'm finding some cobwebs somewhere. So I realize I'm going to have to do cleaning more often and just try to remember those areas that I keep forgetting. So whenever I am putting away my spices, I like to put stuff away by height. Sometimes it's hard to do that because some items, you know, are fatter than the other, skinnier than the other, or just bigger than the other. I, I pretty much said the same thing <laughs> three times, but yeah, I like to do things by height and I just think it looks so cute and such uh, so uniform, but I wanted to get the floor clean because the floor was dirty and then clean out my bucket that I keep all my snacks and all my potatoes and bananas. Y'all, I have a video coming up that I'm going to be you know, doing a little something something in this pantry. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that because you guys will no longer see me use my, um, what do you call that? I think it's a plant stand. I will no longer be using that to hold my snack. <laughs> that is actually in my living room now being held by an actual plant. So yeah, I am getting myself together and trying to get this house right. So I'm wiping down the doors because y'all already know when you have kids, those sticky fingers touch everything and they leave their little sticky stain all over. So I wanted to wipe down the floors and now I am, you know, sweeping all the dust so I can wipe the floor. And as you can see, Journey was right there with me because she started fussing. Whenever she can't see me, she starts fussing. And even though she loves watching Coco Melon, but once her brothers change the TV and she becomes restless, she starts fussing. So I brought her in the kitchen so she can see me. You guys see how dirty my fridge was? Definitely need to be clean before I went grocery shopping. I try to make sure every week before I go grocery shopping, I clean the fridge out. Usually, I try to go grocery shopping at least twice per month, like every two weeks. But there are some months when I do go grocery shopping at least once a week because I'll create a list for what I plan to cook for that week and I'll shop accordingly. So I don't always go every two weeks or sometimes I go once a month. It just depends on the week or it depends on the month. <laughs>
are enjoying this video. I hope you're getting some cleaning motivation. I hope you're inspired to get some cleaning done. If you haven't deep cleaned yet, I hope I'm encouraging you to get it done. We can get it done together. I know there's so much things in our house that really need to be cleaned. So many forgotten areas. So while I'm getting cleaning done, I'm also trying to make dinner. I don't remember what I made dinner this day. But whatever I did, I did it in the slow cooker because I knew I had so much cleaning to get done that I wasn't going to have the energy to stand in the kitchen and do a full on meal. So I had my slow cooker doing it for me. about deep cleaning is being able to go through things and see what has overstayed their welcome and a lot of these medicines that I have for my kids y'all they've been expired since 2018 it is now 2022 and they've been expired since 2018 so this is one of the reasons why I love to just go through things because when I was moving I could swear I went through a lot of these stuff and thought I threw away a bunch, but I guess I did not because I still had some that were remaining from 2018. So now I'm just wiping down my fridge. Again, sticky fingers. You could see my boy's fingers all over my fridge. So I'm wiping everything down. I'm going through everything. I'm seeing what expired, what needs to be thrown away. One of my favorite things to do, guys, I definitely enjoy deep cleaning because it just, it's like a reset. And who doesn't like to reset and just start fresh? So I hope you guys are still here watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Hope you're getting some cleaning done with me. And if you're not cleaning, you're getting yourself motivated to get some cleaning done. I really appreciate you guys coming to watch my videos and show me some love and support. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm definitely happy to have you here. It means so much that you guys are watching my videos and helping my channel to grow. And if you're returning, thank you again. I really appreciate you. You're always here, always showing love, always showing support. And it means so much because I could not do any of this without each and every one of you. So it really means a lot. So y'all, are you one of those types that do laundry and they sit for days upon days? Well, that's me because these clothes, they were sitting in my garage a couple days until I moved them into my kitchen and they stayed in my kitchen for about a day or two before I finally moved them from out my kitchen and put them where they belong. And after I put them where they belong, it still took another day before I put them away. I ended up was doing the following week laundry. And then, you know, that's a lot of clothes to put away. And I hate doing laundry. So laundry for me always backs up because laundry is just something that I don't look forward to doing. When I was pregnant, my husband used to help me out do laundry. On the weekends, he would do it. And then I will fold it and put it away. But now he is going to work on some weekends. And then on the weekends that he doesn't work, 
he doesn't do the laundry, so I end up doing it. Or he doesn't do the laundry because I already did it during the week, which I don't know why I do that because if I do it in the week, then he can't do it, right? But yeah, <laughs> that's the dilemma I'm dealing with. I know I hate doing laundry, and I know a lot of people, they do like one load a day. For me, that would be no different because even if I did one load a day, I am still not going to put the laundry away at the same time, which I think that would be the best thing to do, right? You do the laundry. When it's done, you put it away immediately. That way it doesn't sit down and just take up space and then you end up doing laundry the next day and you have even more laundry to put away. So I'm wiping down everything, guys. I'm wiping down the doors, the walls. Like I said, this is deep cleaning. We're going to clean everything that we don't clean every day or on a regular basis. cleaning I'm making sure that I remember the clean areas that I sometimes neglect and the top of the fridge is definitely one of those areas series guys is coming to an end my kitchen is clean it's smelling good i'm about to wipe the floors down y'all i'm so happy i was able to share this video with you i hope i was able to encourage you guys to get some cleaning done i know we don't always feel motivated and that's okay you don't always have to get it done that same day if you're not feeling up to it it's perfectly fine you can always come back to it the next day but one of the good things about youtube guys is being able to pull up a youtube cleaning video and get the inspiration and the motivation you need to get whatever you need done because there's always somebody here that wants to help motivate you that wants to help inspire you i know we don't always feel like getting things done because let's be honest we're humans and sometimes we don't always feel motivated we don't always feel inspired and that is perfectly fine and that's why i'm here to help inspire you to help motivate you and guess what guys you inspire and motivate me as well so we're here to push each other and help each other reach the next level so guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoy it i was happy to make this video to share with you to give you some clean and motivation to help inspire you so guys thank you for watching i really appreciate you and i cannot wait to see you in part three of this deep cleaning series before we go we definitely want to make sure we check off on our to-do list all the things that we were able to accomplish and guess what we won't always get everything done but guys i was able to get a lot done so again guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye